Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE previous year papers. In this lecture, we will summarize all those vector algebra questions which was asked in the GATE 2017 to 2021. So let's see how many questions are there. The first question is of the one marks which are asked in the GATE 2021, that's the recent year. There is no negative marking for them and you can see this is over the close interval. Second question is of the two marks which is of the GATE 2020, question number 50 which is of the double integration of the surface B. Next one is question number 17, again of the one marks is the gate 2019 is on the close line integral. Question number 44 is again on the double integration which was asked in the gate 2018, two marks is there. And the final question is question number 6 which is asked in the gate 2017 of the one marks over the line integral. One more question is there, you can see this is of the question gate 2019 questions are there, question number 6 which is related to some solenoidal irrotational and so on. So how you can solve such kind of the problems? There's a very simple tricks are there. So let's start with this one. Remember always whenever there is a line integral, whenever there is a line integral in your examination, whenever you see the line integral questions are there, always apply the green theorem. You know that what is a green theorem is whenever there is a close integration of the line, you can convert them over the surface. So if you compare them, the coefficient of the x is my p, the coefficient of y is my q. So what you can do is you can simply convert over the surface partial derivative of q with respect to x minus partial derivative of p with respect to y. So minus minus plus of 2y. So you can integrate over the dx dy. Now how you can take the limit? You can simply draw the graph. What is that? This is my 0 comma 0. This is my 2 comma 0. This is my 2 comma 2 and this is 0 comma 2. Now you can take the limits over the y. This is a strip. This is from 0 to 2 and from maximum is here. Now what you can do is that you can simply integrate firstly with respect to uh, y. So you can write as a dx. So what is that? This is now my y plus y square over the limit 0 to 2. So what is the right answer of this? This is 2 plus 4 of dx. So what is that? This is 6 and integration of this is by 0. So right answer of my is 12 is the right answer. Look at the another one is there. So this is the question related to the double integration. Whenever there is a double integration, you have to apply the divergence theorem. What is the divergence theorem suggests that this f dot n over the surface is convert into the volume integrals over divergence of f over the volume. So what you can do is you can simply convert the divergence of f. So what is the f is my here. What is the divergence of this quantity f. So you can take this with respect to x. What is the derivative of this with respect to x. 2 plus 2y sin x. You can take the derivative with respect to y. So plus 2 minus of 2y sin x. And the third one is partial derivative with respect to the z. So this will be cancelled out. Here is my 8 over the surface x, y, z. Now the surface length is my here. So you can integrate over this. So there are the two ways you how you can solve them. You can integrate over like this way 1 minus x minus 1. y is my here and this way. This is the first way you can integrate them but it will take a time consuming. Other one is that how you can solve them. You can use this Dirichlet formula. What is that Dirichlet formula is if you have write this in terms of the l minus 1 y is m minus 1 z is n minus 1 over the surface here then it will be nothing gamma function of the l gamma m gamma n divided by l plus m plus n plus 1. So can you write this terms in, in, in this form? Yes you can easily write that 8 is my outset I can write this as 1 minus 1 y is 1 minus 1 this is 1 minus 1. So now what is the remaining part is there gamma function of l gamma function of m gamma function of the n upon l m n plus 1 that is my nothing 4. So what is that this is 8 4 fact, gamma function of 4 is nothing but my 3 factorial that is a 6. So the right answer is my 8 by 6 that is 4 by 3 is the right answer. You can see another one is there again you can see this is a line integral so what you can do is we can apply the Green's theorem. So what is the Green theorem is that we will say it's a p dx plus q dy 
then it can be converted into q over x and p over y over the surface dx dy so you can see what is the q this is my q so you can integrate uh, differentiate with respect to x you will get as a 4y square minus p with respect to x is a minus minus plus so this will be my here now 4 is outside this is x square plus y square of dx dy again there are the two ways you can solve them first one this is over a circle so you can integrate this over like radius is 4 so this is 4 minus x square of this otherwise you can change them over the polar coordinates that's one of the simplest way so this is the or you can change them over the polar coordinates so x square plus y square is r square dx dy is nothing but r dr of d theta what is the radius is my 0 to 2 and this is my here so what is the right answer of this so you can see 4 what is the integration of the r cube this is r 4 by 4 over this 0 to 2 and finally from 0 to pi this is my here so what is that 4 will be cancelled out this is my 16 this is my 32 pi is the and you also divided by pi so the right answer is my 32 by pi 32 is the right answer look at the another question again it's a double double integration what you can do is you have to convert them over this triple integration by using the divergence formula so what is the divergence of this f partial derivative of this is my 1 plus 1 plus 1 that's a 3 so what is that this is nothing but 3 dx dy dz so you can integrate them what is the 3 is my outside so what is the uh, limits of the x y z is given to you x is my 0 to 1 y is my 0 to 2 z is my 0 to 3 so what is the right answer of this 3 minus 0 limits are constant so you can integrate them all are the one points so 9 to 18 is the right answer you can see that within a fraction of second you can try to compute your answers look at the next question are there again there is a line integral so we can again apply this Green's theorem so what is that again this is nothing but my q upon x minus p upon y you can compare them with the p dx plus q of remember that when is a q is a y so that's why it's a x so what is that you can integrate them over the surface what is that q with respect to x so this is my q if you integrate them with respect to x this is my p you can integrate them with respect to y so over the surface dx dy now this is the circle of radius 3 so i can change them into the polar form so 4 is outside so what is that this is nothing but r dr d theta limit is what is the radius is 0 to 3 over the circle is 0 to 2 pi so what is the answer is 4 2 pi r square by 2 this is 0 to 3 r square by 2 so this is here so this is 9 by 2 outside and this is my 2 pi so what is that this is 36 of pi and 1 pi is outside so the right answer is my 36 look at the last question is there uh, this is the question related to the solenoidals and as the E rotational piece. so let me firstly tell you what is the solenoidal are there so that is the divergence of f is a zero then f is said to be solenoidal what is the E rotational is there E rotation means the curl of this f is zero then you can say f is solenoidal so what is the, you can do is we will firstly check divergence of this value we will check whether it's a zero or not how you can write that this is nothing but del square of f or phi if it is phi is given to you here so which is given to you already zero what is the meaning of that this means phi is my solenoidal so what is that if this option is cancelled out and this option is also cancelled out a and c now look about this next one curl of this we all know that this is a zero by using this vector identity this is a well-known identity are there or otherwise the curl of the gradient of the f is always be a zero so what is that 
this is a true this is irrotational also true it means the right answer is my c is the right answer so you can see all are the very simple manner these are the previous questions which can solve in a very simple way we will see some more lectures on this gate examination in our next class till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students thank you